What's up, duelists? Your boy is back from YCS Las Vegas. And by back, I mean it was 10 minutes down the street. So I'm like, I just drove home like five minutes ago. So I'm, I'm back back in my, in my chair alone, suffering. Anyway, I entered the main event at YCS Las Vegas with your boys, Totagon and Nate. My goats, my legends, the coolest team I could ever team with. And honestly... Hanging out with them was the best part of my weekend. It was absolutely a blast. Unfortunately, that's where the good news stops. YCS Las Vegas as an event. Oh, things started off bad, but then they got worse. They got worse. And I, I think I think we need to have a little chat. I think you guys and I, and by you guys, I mean the void in which I stare into when I record these videos. We need to have a little chat about about a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that went wrong this weekend with the event. A lot of stuff that um, I think was whack. A lot of stuff that uh, makes me not want to go to these things, <laughs> honestly. Uh, first things first, the registration, of course. If you guys played in the main event, I'm sure some of you guys did, but um, the, the registration not being open, the event like literally not being open on Friday till two hours before it closed is is absurd it's like how have you guys ran ycs's this long and you're not able to open up the hall like on t not not only on t like even like half an hour late but they were like bro they were like six hours late some people were waiting there for six hours in line that is that's absurd konami is a billion dollar company billion with a b that's insane like i understand like an hour wait you know what i mean but like Six hours before the venue is even open. And then you had to wait in line even after that. It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Why do you even... Like, I, I kind of understand why they make people check in the day before. But just, like, why not just have them check in online? And just, like, not book the venue for an extra day? Like, what is the point of all that? Like, I don't... <clears throat> I don't understand. That's just something, like, I even throw events. And I don't even understand why they do that. Anyway, first complaint. Just getting that out of there. I understand things happen. Tech issues happen. You know, some things are out of some people's control. But this is just like, that is that is unimaginably bad. Like, that is just already off on the wrong foot, right? And then, of course, the elephant in the room. Um, the judging. And the policy. And the stuff surrounding the top eights. Not only in the Ultimate Time Wizard, but also in the main event as well. Um, regarding... What happened with Sam, Team Samurai, saying God damn on stream, getting an immediate loss for that? Like, what? Like, for saying God damn on stream? Like, are we in fucking America? Or are we in, like, Great Britain or some shit? Like, where, where the fuck we at where we punishing someone for saying God damn? Like, like, if someone does a sick combo and I'm like, God damn, like, that's not, that's not allowed, that's not... Like, what the fuck is that, man? That is so fucking stupid. Anyway, that's, like, absolutely robbed. Robbing, like, for for the dumbest shit, like, <laughs> imaginable. Like, I, I, that's so incredibly crazy, especially considering the people watching are, they're not fucking children, man. They're, like, fucking <laughs> adults. <laughs> they're, like, I guarantee you the audience analytics is, like, 30-plus boy children, man children, basically, uh, watching the event, and they're, like, you know, they've heard swear words. I mean, these guys, that's probably half of their functioning vocabulary. It's like that and problem-solving card text mashed together. And that's like their entire fucking vernacular. You know what I'm saying? So, like, why are why is that a rule? Like, maybe a warning, but like an instant game loss for swearing on stream? Am I, I going to get a game loss if I swear in a game off stream? Like, that just seems like a fucking double standard. It's so fucking stupid. Anyway, that's dumb. The Ultimate Time Wizard Top 8 was so scuffed. Hella rule sharks, hella DQs. What happened with James Arc was fucking unbelievable. I cannot believe they did my boy James like that. That was criminal. He got robbed. That was fucking crazy. His team got fucking robbed. The, there was this huge ruling debate. Uh, basically, um, they were discussing as a team, because it's a fucking team event and you're allowed to discuss shit, um, whether or not to enter the battle phase, something like that. And the other team was like, okay, you're entering the battle phase. Like, like that's that's just how it went. And then they called the judge and they were like, they entered the battle phase. Even though they, they didn't say they were, none of them said they were. They were just discussing whether or not they should. And then they appealed it five times. It upheld the top eight like for like over an hour from uh, continuing. And the judges ended up ruling against um, 
James Ark and his team, which is just, that's fucking wrong. Like, that is just fucking terrible. There were so many DQs in the Ultimate Time Wizard event. Like, dude, this is so fucked because the event was massively successful, right? Uh, 300 players in the Ultimate Time Wizard, uh, the largest main event, uh, team event as well. So just massively successful, overbooked the venue. Uh, the venue was too small. They couldn't even fire side events. Uh, just f- fucking horrendous. Um, where do I even begin with this? But yeah, but the people who were sharking them obviously move on. And then there was a sharking that happened in the finals. There was like some foul play that happened in the finals and it was just all out. And it's just like, man, like this is like, you have this cool idea for an event, right? This 3v3, everyone's playing cool formats and like the communities come together and it's like, yeah, but the communities are supposed to come together to, you know, like team up and like play the game and have a good time and enjoy things and like meet new people and make friends and like, um, you know, travel and see the world and whatnot and they're not supposed to have a bad time you know what I mean or like come together to hate the fact that they came to this event like uh there's this thing in marketing where it's like if you are going to run a ad that gives you negative um negative feedback I I'm not like then then basically you should just not run an ad at all like basically that's that's what YCSs are they're just a giant advertisement for Yu-Gi-Oh they're run at a loss they don't make profits uh they're basically just part of marketing for the game which is fine i mean that's just like it makes sense you have to run events to market the game to sell the product to well, you get the idea right but if the events are poorly fucking ran then nobody's going to want to play the game because there's no purpose there's no reason to play the game the game doesn't appeal to fucking casuals i have now played in a main event ycs and i can tell you right now you have to do like six months of homework to play in a main event at ycs minimum you have to study like a 40 page fucking excel document on like the 16,000 different combo lines that each different deck can do against you through each different hand trap to know how to interact and you have to play like six hours a day on dueling book just to get through fucking round three and i swear to god none of those people are fucking casuals you're not getting any new players playing modern Yu Gi Oh. it's just it's a dying game straight up like it's not gonna grow it's not gonna get any smaller it's gonna be exactly what it is and it's gonna it's gonna eventually just die out i mean the whales are getting older like the average age of the game is getting older and eventually <coughs> eventually these people are going to be tooled to play the game the game's just gonna be dead it's not sustainable it's not it's not something that can continue on forever um and you know just the state of the game being best of three when game one is like almost assuredly going to take 35 minutes against snake eye like that is fucking terrible um how every single one of my rounds went into time like that is fucking amazing. That's just fucking wonderful. And I, I had a really sick deck and I had a really sick idea, but just like I couldn't play the fucking game because my opponent was monopolizing all of the time, like sharking me and shit. It's like, bro, what I, I want to play the game. I just, I want to play the game, but the tournament and the structure and the judges and the people fucking throwing it and like the policy, it makes it so we can't fucking play the game. And that's like, wh- why are we here? Why are we going to these things? You know what I mean? Uh, I want the exact opposite of that from RBET and, you know, the Edison community. And, like, that's, I feel like we found that in, like, our own, like, small niche, like, Edison community or, like, the really big Yu-Gi-Oh! Discord or, like, the RBET stuff. We found the people who, like, are not sharks, you know? We found the, like, the cool people, basically, who play this game. And and we've come together and we've done a lot of really awesome shit. Like, contrast this event run by a billion-dollar fucking company with, like, YCS Fuller, or not YCS, uh, RBET Fullerton last year where there was one judge call in the entire event. Like, contrast those two, right? It's almost entirely the same players going to each event, but something is different, right? Something is different here. It's like the community that's built up is not built up on this fucking um, idea that we're all here to play a game. There, It's not built up on this idea that we're, like, selling friendship. Um, it's, it's built up on this idea that, like, I'm going to win at whatever cost and nobody's here to have fun and if i don't have fun nobody's gonna have fun and it's just like fucking miserable and at the end of the day like let's be real like the fucking ultimate time wizard the side event only first place got a prize and the fact that first place i don't know if they sharked their way to the prize or exactly what i wasn't watching the exact game but i heard there was some shit that went down i don't have 100 percent info but i heard there was some stuff that was not let's be real not cool so um i don't know man i just think if you're gonna we're all grown, right? If you're like 30 plus, you're coming to these events, you're going to play a children's card game, like, just fucking, if you lose, just lose. Don't, like, try to fucking, like, angle shoot your opponent into, like, 
some fucking corner where you like gaslight them into thinking they said a certain thing that they didn't like they obviously didn't mean that or didn't do that or didn't want to do or this is you know what i mean it's like like i under, there's a very clear difference between a mistake and like putting words in your opponent's mouth and then saying that they did that then calling a judge and telling the judge that they did do that and lying to the judge and then getting them a game wash after fucking hours of appealing and pissing everybody in the fucking venue off it's like bro what are you what are you hoping to achieve by this like what is what is the goal here um and yeah there was a lot of sharking there was a lot of terrible judge rulings a lot of terrible judge calls uh easy fixes easy fixes i don't like to just vent and complain without giving some easy fixes first one make modern Yu-Gi-Oh best of one like it is in japan and master duel easy fix number one done just do it there's going second sucks but it's not as bad as you think and a lot of the best decks can go second just fine so um yeah just make it best of one there doesn't need to be best of three just pointless it's just makes it so that games don't really matter who fucking wins in game one or game two um, you might as well not even play those. You might as well just start the game in time and uh, whoever gains life first wins. Like that is literally what most of the matches come down to. And I think that that's fucking stupid. So um, definitely get rid of that. It detracts from the gameplay. Uh, second fix, um, definitely hire better judges or train the judges or pay them more or something. Um, I think events really hinge on how good the judges are. If the judges are excited, if the judges are cool, if they're giving good rulings, if they're, like, helping people out and they're, like, in a good vibe, you know what I mean, and they don't have to deal with, like, a lot of fucking bullshit, then then that's good. Maybe hire more judges. Maybe hire judges specifically for Time Wizard or hire judges specifically for the main event or, or something like that. Train them on each of the different rulings. Um, it seems like a little bit of effort, but um, the resources are there. I mean, people have compiled rulings from the eras um and put them on websites and uh, there are people who have made honestly judge exams for free for each of the eras for goat for edison and you can find those um they're pretty easy if, if konami or someone from konami wants those quizzes to provide to their judges they can ask me i can send them them uh they can they can maybe get their policy straight on like judge appeals or like fucking gaslighting your opponent and just saying that they said something they didn't you know what i mean like my boy Ark got robbed, and, and I hate that. I, I it pisses me off. I that was his fucking that that was his tournament. You know what I mean? That was his team's tournament. It's like, it's so shitty to watch that sort of thing be the deciding factor in like, what was other what was otherwise could have been a really cool event. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, I got some deck profiles for you guys. Um, and I got some fucking whatever Edison bullshit that's gonna go up. But I don't know, man. I like i said i had a lot of fun friday night before we threw a little mini ycs at my house this is a small photo of the amount of people that came uh, a lot of people came over and we we all gamed and it was and i'll tell you one thing the vibes on friday night were perfect everyone was having a great time uh it was really sick we had like a lot of top players there and we were just it was like all the the different like it's like from pirates of the caribbean when all the like pirate leaders come together in that one scene and they're all throwing treasure on the table and everyone's just throwing their fucking six thousand dollar decks on the table and slinging cards and showing off their their secret builds that they're playing tomorrow and everything it's just like it was just fucking cool it was like one of the sickest vibes you know hanging out with the friends that's like the best part about it and i think um ycs's should be more geared towards that and less geared towards um letting people be sharks or assholes for like nominal like fucking monetary gain like bro you're fighting over a fucking three foot piece of styrofoam that has something laser printed on it like that is what you're being a dick for like evaluate your fucking life if you are shirking someone or if you're like abusing judge call shit or if you're being a fucking asshole in an ultimate time wizard event over that and if you're working as a fucking like jobs worth fucking judge in like um as konami like i understand the job is not easy i understand whatever gig you're doing for them is like it's functional gig work and that sucks but like um and it's it's honestly on konami it's not even on the judges i feel like the judges have to put up with a lot of fucking anti-social people who um are 
frustrating to deal with, let's be real, uh, the whole day. And, you know, their their position is not easy. So I feel like it's on Konami or whoever runs these events to make sure the judges handle it because these game these games or these events, honestly, all of it, the scuffed registration, not having enough space to play, the fucking cheerleading competition that was happening in the next room where it was just fucking booming loud the entire time you could hardly think the fucking broken megaphone that was just like screeching static all of friday like all of those scuff things don't matter as long as the event is good as long as the judges are good as long as people get fair rulings and as long as people who play the game and win by playing the game win the tournament like that is ultimately the only thing that matters and I think that that should be a number one priority. So if they're cutting costs here and there or whatever, the one thing that they should not be cutting is the quality of judges and the policies that the judges enforce and the training behind those judges. And like, honestly, like they should probably just hire, like have a, have a staff, like be like, I don't know exactly how it would work. Like they'd have to hire them as like part-time maybe um, judges and then have them on call for like the events and um yeah i'm not exactly sure how that would work it would probably cost them a lot of money but they make billions they print money so fucking do it you know like it's the least they could do you know they're fucking printing blood money they fucking make half the fucking slot machines in vegas they're con- contributing to a lot of really shitty things um, Yu-Gi-Oh is borderline gambling, but kids can do it. Let's be fucking real. It's like not, it's definitely legal gambling in a lot of senses. Um, and it's just one of those things where it's like, come on, man, like, come on, man. <laughs> let's just have a good event. You know, can we just, just for once, can we have a YCS where, where things go smoothly? Is that possible? Uh, is that possible? Can we have can we have online pairings that actually fucking work? <laughs> Round one, can we have <laughs> no technical issues? Maybe, can we get the software working? Like it's, you've been running YCSs for 25 years now, right? Like that's, <laughs> this is like the the idea. This is like what's happening. I don't, I don't know. I feel like this should be, if they were sick, I mean, and it's not like these events can't be run well because um, other companies, comparable companies like Pokemon runs events like this without a hitch. like. These types of events, I feel like Grand Prix usually go off well. I mean, obviously, there's going to be bad rulings, bad judge calls at every event, but um, just some of the judge calls and some of the rulings I saw today were, like, beyond, beyond acceptable, like, beyond ridiculous. I'm not going to get into the details. I don't want to, like, make anyone feel bad about any situations or, like, target any judges because, like I said, at the end of the day, it comes down to the company putting on the event making sure the judges know what they're supposed to be doing, making sure the judges are vetted and that they're not, like, just a fucking, like, person who's like, yeah, 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 and then they, like, fucking don't know what they're doing. Um, So, yeah, that's a, a lot on a lot of things to fix. Overall, I had a good weekend. I love meeting you guys. Um, the Edison community is amazing. I just wanted to, like, rant into the void about, like, some of the stuff that, like, really pissed me off. Um, And sometimes it's good to just, like, you know, yell at the camera and, and uh, and, you know, just, just get it out there. Uh, Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is a fucking joke. I, I actually don't understand why anyone would ever want to play it. Um, it's fun, and it's really cool when you don't have time constraints. I think it's a really good game when you don't have time constraints. But best of three in 45 minutes is just unreasonably stupid. You have to put so much time and effort into, like, just knowing, like, the basics. Like, literally knowing, like, very simple lines take, like, days to practice. And it's just, like really really dumb it's more a test of like um memorization and how much free time you have than it is a test of like how actually good you are at the game like let's let's give like a little bit of a comparison there was a player who got top eight in the ultimate time wizard in edison who's been playing Oh for three months which is amazing like that is a good thing that means that guy is talented he's a good gamer he was really exceptionally strong i watched a couple of his matches someone pointed it out and uh he was playing Vayu turbo and he he just played at the top of his a game he was um you know he was he was on a good team as well and that helped but he he had a positive record i think overwhelmingly positive record and um just did really well and that's the type of thing that like this game should reward people who join and play well it shouldn't reward people who spend years and years and years like fucking studying some like 
obscure combo line or whatever or just have more free time than other people to memorize more basically um or spend 16 hours a day like on dueling book with other people like that's that should be a part of it for sure like you should be able to practice to improve but at the same time like like it's just unattainable after a certain point because target audience is like 30 something year old males and it's like how can you expect people to do that i don't know i don't know i don't know it's just kind of my just kind of my thoughts anyway i'll talk to you guys in the next vid tomorrow i'm gonna be uploading some of the profiles from the event some cool stuff um a lot of cool storylines there was the quick draw deck that went undefeated um in the event quick draw being one of the decks that people have kind of let under left under the let go by under the radar i guess let fly under the radar that's the phrase um over the last year and a half and i think it's just one of those decks that really does well at big events and i think it's a strong deck i played it recently in a tournament to a strong finish and uh, a couple other strong players have been having some really strong results with it so it was cool to see that deck do well dragons was in top eight <coughs> um there was a really sick relinquished goat format deck in top eight i got that profile for you guys um there was a value turbo deck there was a i don't remember i don't remember what else because um, I was more focused on like the event and the event management and uh, all the stuff that went on. Uh, huge shout out to my team for putting up with my bullshit, all my Twitter rants, all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter at e 3 uvo And um, check out Totagon, of course, and subscribe to him because his VODs are amazing. Edison format, tournament VODs, just weekly, great content, great stuff. Learn a lot from watching it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.